here with, with, with Gabe from Team, uh, from Team Thick Sam. What you do today, bud? Um, so I played the same deck. I played at my regionals two weeks ago. I came second, and then I was feeling pretty confident, so I came to Costa Rica. I came top 32. You're fucking savage. And wait, 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 wait. Nah, not just top 32. What else did you win? Oh, uh, I won this 3v3 with my friends. We, we went, uh, like, I don't think. I think we dropped like one game in total and we just 2 out everyone. It's pretty nuts. Fucking lit. Yeah. Alright, let's do the crew. Okay, let's so the wait. I need a quick shout out to Steven. See, uh, a lot of people just know Steven as Steven. But yo, this man made this deck and like, I can't lie. As like, as my mentor would say, bro, auto wins. Auto win. Like, it's auto win. Stupid. Oh my god. Like, I lost in top 32 to a guy who's being like this biggest piece of shit, and I just like didn't. Yeah, win. I remember the guy ended up being DQ'd and banned. He, Don't worry. So, so it wasn't in vain. Karma got him. He ended up getting DQ'd and banned, but man, he was the biggest piece of shit. And no, <laughs> no, no. Tell me what the cherry on top is. What, what, what did this guy have on, on world points? Oh, so he was lead in Mexico in, in Mexico to go to Worlds. Now he's banned. He's not going to Worlds. So he's not going to go to Worlds. So he just lost. Unfortunately, for I a did, top I for lost, a top 16. I misplayed quite pretty. I got. I was under a lot of pressure, and I cracked, and I lost. Happens, Still haven't passed top 32, whatever. We'll get next time. Uh, so, there we yeah, go. very auto the deck. <laughs> triple Astro, Triple Chrono. So I don't play this. I, I mean, Steven doesn't play this, but I do. I play Triple Dark Worm and then Double Gate. How long do you play Dark Worm? That's an amazing card. Um, Steven likes the Crit Razor, and this adds brick, adds bricks, but it's like so much advantage. It gives, like, just this alone's a plus one, and like Crit Razor is more of a break even, so I prefer to play this, and yeah, I, I, I really like this engine. And then I play the. This is Mythical Beast, they're broken. Uh, three servers, um, three servers, two jackal, and one ser um, bachelor's. And that, that's a proper ratio. I think this is a perfect ratio no matter what because like, I hate seeing two um, uh, servers and a jackal because it forced me to search another jackal, but because I play server, uh, you know, bachelor's, mm -hmm. it can fix my hand a lot of the times. And Bachelors by itself is also like an upset. I'm basically playing a 35 card deck, and it like it only broke for me once in top 32, but I ended up winning that game because he also broke. But like, yeah, I think this card's like good. Lit. You should, if you're playing this engine, you should be playing Bachelors. Yeah. That's it for my like Electrum turn. For sure, man. All right. So I'm, I'm out. I'm one of each. They suck. But, like, you gotta play did you ever? Games. Did you ever draw them? Oh, I drew them all the time. They fucking <laughs> love me. I probably should be playing Commons and not Super. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking Michael. <laughs> we, we, we played in Swiss and I and I, and I won. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, these these cards suck. This card's bet a lot better than him though because like his monster effects is really good. Yeah. They came up in um against a stun deck actually not today but uh, at my last regional that I just act I have this in scale and I start attacking with spellcasters and he can't mirror force me. Like you have to play them. I wouldn't not play them. So I play the wisdom I build because like penalty call sucks and like why make penalty call when you can make a like a mediocre board where you can play wisdom I and it, just make an unbreakable board. There any pendulum player go like where well, you playing wisdom I you're like because I'm not a bad pendulum player. No, I say because I'm playing the better deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wisdom is a nut. Like, uh, double O. Uh, you can probably add it with Astro. You have to play two. I wouldn't play three though. Uh, triple purple, you need this when you go second because everyone's making anti spell now. Oh, and I also only won one dice roll this weekend, which is great. Yeah, the odds were not my favorite. It was so annoying. And break game three, I was there when you I was, you, were, you were sitting right next to me in the, at the top table. Yeah. Just, and, and on top 32. Super sad. Huh? I know. You, you play so many rounds and you win one. Like, yeah. it's just unfortunate. Triple harmonizing. Like, uh, card's amazing. Some it's in the deck. Like, all cards that's in the deck are good. And then triple black fang. Uh, amazing, you always want to see this in your opening hand to do full combo. Uh, then I play one foolish double shrine. Um, I drew this card all the time off Electro. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's not that great when that happens, but like besides that, it's the best card to card by far. You're yeah, like, where were you in the beginning of the game? <laughs> like, huh? I said, where was that card when, when, you, when you first drew? Yeah, I know, but like, it's so worth playing. Like, you see it a lot. And a lot of times after Electrum's already going, like you draw for Electrum, it doesn't matter if you draw because you already have full combo, that they're not going to break it. A lot of times I like, go full combo, have this in my hand, I'm like, okay, like, if, you, if you somehow manage to break my board, which you never do, I have a shrine, right? So yeah, I win. And then I play, uh, just draw power. A lower, and a so triple this, lower upstart, no traps. traps. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, you don't need traps, traps slow you down. 
uh, with, with Bashful's playing a 35 card deck, so it's pretty nuts. That's it for the main deck. I think it's perfect. I literally don't want to change anything. How many cards total? Uh, 40. 40? Okay. Uh, 35 card deck, man. What can I say? It's consistent. Alright, we're gonna go side now? Uh, yeah, triple cherries, never do this. Uh, today, <laughs> for the regionals, it was good, but yeah, like, this card is such a blow. But, you know, I don't draw it, so. Oh, well. Spear mode. And you don't win die rolls either, so. At Atlanta, this card was really good. Today, this card, I only drew it once, and when I did, he, uh, he bricks, so he summoned two monsters. But I'd still play this because, like, the pendulum deck that I am scared against is my own deck. And if I do play my own deck, I want to have this because it's the only way I'll win if I don't draw spear mode or cherries. So, like, I'm not scared of the other pendulum deck, but, like, the pendulum call. So I wouldn't side this and I side on the cherries, though. But, like, yeah, I, I play. There's a reason why I didn't play three of this, so uh, you'll see my side. My side was very weird for this one. I played triple twin. Uh, twin was the MVP, holy shit. I twin so many back row. I, I, I was playing against Paleo a couple, uh, two rounds, and I twin the anti spell and a uh, unending both times. Like, uh, twin's amazing. I think you have to play twin. That's why I always opt, opted to play dark worm because, like, twin dark worm's not. Like, yeah, yeah, I agree though. Know. Remember, I was telling Galileo, like, hey man, twin twin is way better than Cosmic. We're having this, we're having this debate. Yeah. And I'm telling you, yeah, you neg one, but, bro, like. It's actually. It's not that like you neg one, you later in the combo becomes super relevant that like you pitch uh, Dark Worm to the grave because you, if it's, okay, say you don't have a Dark Worm, you can uh, send a Dark Spellcaster and re revive it all Black Fang and keep on comboing, which is super huge. Um, so, I played one Cosmic, I also played one evenly, because... Wait, one? Yeah, I drew it all oh, the time. <laughs> I played he against Sue Draco, he I played against Sue Draco and I drew it though, so it's okay. Oh but, um, shit! The reason why I played one and one, because I love my evenlies at home. If I uh, had more evenlies, I probably would have played, played, evenly played, played three evenly match, but I didn't have all. I had access to that. But I, I drew evenly, it was fine. I drew Cosmic, it was also fine. Like, the five ratio, I think, was fine. Obviously, if I had more evenlies, I would have played the six. I would have played six, but I didn't have that option. Still did well. Book it. I played double D barrier. Against the mirror, this is like more of like an icing on the cake when you brick, but like, because when I make my board, I'm already winning. But like, I still opted to play barrier because like, um, it's still like an amazing card. And then I played, I was so scared of Mas uh, Draco that I played uh, Master Shake. Because I always make Master Shake dwell it, and it was really good. Alright, perfect. I should egg. Uh, I should egg. You gotta be Triple quick. Electrum, <laughs> Warlord, Firewall, Proxy, Zephyr, Rock. This is all links. This came up a couple times. You make this every first turn, you make this every first turn. This comes up when you brick, and these are generic. And when you get chariots, you need to make this. Pendulum one from the extra deck and make this and then hopefully set a barrier. That's how I won when I got chariot. And you don't but believe yeah. in no FTK, right? I don't it's like not, that. I don't like the FTK. But I've been thinking about it. if anything I'm gonna play the Zexel list, but yeah, um, this works out super well. Just you have you have every like you have something for everything. Like Boral's Boral's super important to have too. Must. Um, that played the one dweller. Dweller's super important. I used to think this card wasn't that good. Then I realized like Draco's a deck. And Draco's yeah, if you're super like, scary. you have to report. Do you have an extra deck? No. Yeah. I go first. You make dweller. dweller. I win. Um, yeah. So <laughs> then you make. Then you have Fuck you, scumbag. Uh, absolute. And then the vortex to go with the uh, absolute. That played two because you overlay two to make it uh, 38. And then I played Omega in case I got cherried. I only summoned this like two times, but I don't think I'd play a tournament without it just because cherry is a card. Oh shit, no red geki, no, no secret to pop the board, you don't believe in that? You don't need that. Like, oh, that, and then, you have and then, purple poison for that. And then one more question. Did you ever have to did you ever have to kill your own opponent with this? Like they try to FTK, you stop them, and then you, 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 you like, That actually hasn't happened, but I did think about that. Like, yeah. That's like, it never happened, it never happened. It happened to me, but I was like, cool. maybe, maybe, maybe he did it. Well, yeah, know. this deck's so auto win, man. You make, you make Vortex, 38, you make Abyss Dweller if you know what you're playing against. And uh, Firewall, and you, it's either, so this is normally your board with a proxy, you win the board. Vortex, and then it's either this right here, so it's, this is your board always, and then this is either Jackal or Abyss Dweller, depending if you normal summon or not. But yeah, Dex auto win. Any, any, any shout outs before we stop with this team? Uh, shout out to my sponsor. I was the only Canadian at this event, and I <laughs> represented pretty well. Uh, Everyone thought you were American. You're like, I'm not American. No, I'm not American. Fuck I'm that. I'm on He's like Justin Bieber. Like he's from, <laughs> he's a Canadian, but he's from the states. Yeah. Too. Okay. Shout out to Dylan, Siobhan, Stephen, obviously, because he gave me this amazing deck. Um, team Six M. Dylan, obviously, Team uh, Six M. Um, and yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. All right, man. Thanks so much for the uh, for the, for the, uh, for the deck profile. Congrats again, man. Peace.